we're gonna paint this white cat against the dark background for our member of enjoyingart.com i'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing friday painting together if this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold here. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it okay now the hair very soft also remove all the bubble all the air inside the brush here now the brush is ready to use that's very sharp over here very organized and this is the calligraphy brush the calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes and the tip is very sharp so it's very easy to control. I'm going to take a look at the big shape of the cat. So I'm going to put the top over here and the bottom over here. So I'm going to just put a little dot over here and then the back coming down. Now I'm going to come into the bottom over here, have a little tail. This would be the rough composition. The face of the cat is look like about this much. Okay, that's the chin. But we're not worried about the details. So we're going to start painting the outside. First, I'm going to mix the color dark enough. I try to do it like a one time, that will be great. Okay, now I'm going to take the red color, mostly is a warm color. I'm going to take lots of red. You see how hard that I try to take the color. And mostly, is red. Screen your eye, you can see how dark is it. I'm going to take a little blue, it will make it look darker. Okay, get more red. All right. I'm not going to wet the paper before I start because I'm going to keep the crispy uh, feeling of the edge. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the color right over there. That's pretty dark, right? Let's put over here and then cover enough, closer enough to the cat. I'm going to cut it the right side over here. Oh, I kind of let go the couple hair. I guess the hair, I have to do that with the scratching. So now I'm going to pay full attention to what is just the uh, edge. I'm going to have a little bit gap like this. And coming over here, here you go. Now I use the paint to create that. I'm gonna mix the color as I'm going. And I'm gonna come in on this side. Here you go, like that. Coming in a little bit and take a look at the edge and some of the soft edge. And move the wet make it a little bit more consistent. Take a look at the back over here and coming down and coming down over here and then to the back over here. Here you go. All right, I'm going to try to make it wet just with one single color. You might want to pay attention and then let's work through it together. Okay, the timing is very, very crucial. And now I'm gonna come in over here. Uh, I'm first gonna create a shape, overall shape first, before I'm going into to see, uh, create the, the edge. So I'm gonna try to make the cat overall shape is like this. And now I'm gonna start blending in some other colors. So, I'm going to take the yellow color really quickly. I'm going to just put the color right over here. But the color maybe should be a little bit gray. So I'm going to take this color and mix a little bit of the 
uh, blue color like that and coming over here like that here you go the timing is very very crucial so I'm gonna try to set up the proper overall overall tone and now coming over here and the top I'm gonna start making some darker color I'm gonna get this a little bit uh, red and the blue color together I'm gonna actually putting that color a little bit more in just create some shapes and outside here you go some a little shape over here make a little soft feeling of shape I'm gonna mix the color as you need as coming over here let's go and also I'm gonna also drop in some green color so you can see that coming like this and then I'm gonna have a little green color so I'm gonna wash my brush just get the yellow and take a little blue color here you go now I'm gonna drop in some color over here so it would looks like some uh, vegetable in the background okay coming over here too just take the yellow and it is quite a bit of wet uh, the color in my brush okay like that that's good right as wet into wet okay and then I coming into the middle over here I'm gonna get a little bit of orange color get the yellow and the red you see that I go through the steps of getting the overall wet tone and before I come in to adjust the color with wet into wet and dropping in colors so I'm gonna get a little bit yellow and a little blue color and I'm gonna have it have a little bit green color right over here now that's just good and uh, front over here I can have a little bit lighter color I can either even lift up watch some color off so it make it look like a little bit lighter at the front over here now it's just a good time now I'm gonna come into actually I'm gonna use the calligraphy brush I'm gonna open it up a little bit like a, a flat brush so I'm gonna take this color that we already used before and I'm gonna open it up like that I'm gonna take a look right over here see that I'm gonna have it like this you see that you can have some feeling of the, the fur a little bit on the top over here like that on the edge over here so because the hair is still pretty wet okay now I'm gonna have a little bit more dry brush like this open it up a little bit more so I'm gonna have it coming back over here here you go like that and coming back on this side I can do the same thing and a couple brush draw like that that's good right I'm gonna come here too and just push that in let go uh, unnecessary wet okay so this kind of texture when you use the masking fluid it won't be able to give it to you it actually work a little bit better uh, by using the brush alone I'm gonna come in over here too I'm gonna to take this color similar to the outside color I'm gonna come back over here and it's gonna be fun to practice so sometimes you just use the side of this brush sometimes you use a little bit thicker and thinner and we can sometimes use uh, both brushes to work together to create that uh, feeling I'm gonna have it come up a little bit more like the tail over here is that so now I'm gonna come back over here use the fry brush now I'm going to come back here I'm gonna make it a little bit more uh, get the color that we want and get this uh, don't want to have a two drive I'm gonna come with 
a little bit red color, a little bit more like a brown. Now I'm coming back over here. You see that there's a little bit edge. I don't want an edge. So I'm going to soften the edge over here like that. Now you can also paint it into this shape, which is see that like a little bit, uh, a little bit closer, a little bit higher uh, space. And also you can somehow also you use the the bristle of this flat brush. I'm going to start pushing the color from the inside to the outside. Now it's all very much like a drive. Now I'm going to start pushing the color out. You see, use one side and then change it to the other side. So we're going to have some variety of edge, some a little bit soft like that. You're going to start making that a little bit more dynamic edge for the fur. That's good. I'm going to have something over here too and pushing the color out make a little soft feeling and like that. Okay, come out a little bit. Okay, over here too, I'm going to have that a little bit soft. That's good. Now I have a little bit more like feeling of the hair, the cat's fur. All right, it just start wet into wet, make it a little bit softer. That's good. I go over here too. I'm going to have a little bit soft coming out. We want to have some gray color coming over here. Now I'm going to put the gray color putting in here and then we actually at the same time, we're going to pushing the color out and we're going to have a little bit softer connection to the outside. So this area of the edge of the fur is not going to stand out as much as the other area that we defined it more like in the highlight, right? So we're going to put this color all the way over here and a little bit soft over here too. And this can be a little bit softer. So just use the uh, large brush to control this. And I'm going to put the color in here too. So more preparation to your mind in the process, you're more preparing uh, what you are going to encounter you're not going to surprise too much. I'm going to paint the whole eye as a part of the shadow. So no surprise there. And on this side, underneath, I have a little bit more yellow orange color, light brown color like this. I'm going to put that color in here. Now I'm going to using lifting to create, recreate uh, the shadow, the fur in the shadow area. And I'm going to leave the nose to be a little bit lighter like that. Now coming down over here, now coming in the middle. All we are thinking about is the large area right now. Okay. No need to think about all oh, those a little fur. How I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to leave the white area. See that the light area on the feet. I just going to pay attention to the big area, not the small details, not the crawl, not other things. Like that, I'm going to put a little light, leave a little light above it. And I'm going to make a little bit, maybe a slight, a little bit lighter color right on this side, like that. So this first step is very crucial to by establish as much as you can for the large impression. Now it's just a nice color and I'm going to have some uh, darker brown color. So take the yellow, take the red, and maybe a little bit more red and a little bit blue color. I'm going to put that in here. So you see that this color have the shadow coming over here. Okay, like that. That's pretty nice. Now I'm going to put a little bit blue color right over here at the edge. Leave out some color over here. Uh, make it like a feeling of the grass over there. Sometimes you don't need extra color. All you need is a couple of texture. Uh, like over here, I'm gonna have a little bit light, light shape, have a little light shape like that. And as some a little bit over here at the front, you need to have a little bit texture. You see that I just put a little bit texture over here. You see that I don't really need colors. You see that it conveyed it something it closer to us. Like that's is good enough, right? Over here. 
And over here, you can also use a little lifting if you want. Okay, you can create some of the very soft details for the things. It just keep using these two brushes. That's all you need. It's magic. But you need to get more familiar with uh, your tools and don't be afraid of it. Okay, just follow the process. You can do it. We need to do some adjusting, and which is very, very important. Like the edges over here, how we can make it look a little bit better, and maybe a little light shape coming up over here. Like look at the reference there, right? Maybe have a little lifting a little bit over there, and maybe the edge over here, uh, the ear can expand it a little bit more. So we can do that at this step. I'm going to use this one inch flat brush. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make this ear a little bit higher. Um, that's, here we go. I'm gonna, just going to use the corner of this. I know this brush is very, very f functional, but you do need some time to making the brush here a little bit more flat. Now you can see that I can already make the ear a little bit bigger, a little bit higher. Depends on how much water you need in the area. Uh, this is quite comfortable. You can see that it is quite a bit of water. I want to see how much water in the brush. You see this much water. So I'm going to put it back in the brush. Okay, this much. Now I'm going to come back over here. Take a look at on the edge over here. I'm going to make this a little bit softer. Uh, the good thing is about this brush, I can use both corner like that. That's good. I'm gonna have this come out a little bit. So you see my brush is really sharp, straight line, and this is why I'm making it so useful. So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna have this move out a little bit more. And I'm going to use this side. So I'm making this line look a little bit softer by having a little bit more curve. Now this is a little bit better. Coming over here, coming out like this. And one of the things that frustrate me in the early year that I do watercolor, which is like a 34 years ago, that I always feeling kind of like a watercolor seems like a little bit powerless. When you compare with oil, acrylics, gouache, that they can cover the color so easily, they can modify things so easily. And with the traditional watercolor brush, this is not capable to do any of those. So I was just keep looking and looking, and hoping that I can actually can do more than even an oil painting. And uh, now with the two that I use, practice every single time, that you can see if you use the paper can allow you to do multiple round of editing and with the right brush, you're almost like you can do it again and again. You don't have to finish everything when it's just wet, right? You can come back and do like a multiple editing. Like right now, I can spend a couple hours on this, okay? I can just enjoying, oh, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually soften that and let go the dark color right surrounding the light area. Have some of the shape make it a little bit softer. So I'm making this shape a little bit softer. Okay, now it's already softer already. Okay, just keep working on it. If your brush is not listening to you, keep stretching it. And until there's no air inside the brush, and it would be much more easier. Over here, I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. Like at this line on this side, a little bit too hard. Okay, I'm gonna come back again. Now it looks much better already. Okay, everything is doable. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna extend the shape, a little bit soft shape over here. As you are painting more and more and more and more, 
you are going to get better and better making the judgment faster, quicker, and better. Yeah, the feeling of the cat and the feeling of the fur is, is very important. I want to come in to have a little bit light red color. You see this? I'm going to put this color in here. I'm going to put this color, but this side, it need to have a little bit darker. Like that. A little bit darker. So I'm going to take a little bit red and with the little brown, brownish color, a little bit more red. Here you go. And the bottom over here, have a little bit blue, like that. Here you go. I'm going to have that color. I'm going to actually have a little bit the line like this. Here you go. I'm going to set a little color here, a little shape. Now you can see on the left side of the ear and the right side of the ear, they're quite different. Because this side have a little bit more light and the other side have a little bit shadow. Now I'm going to come in here, take a look at the shape. There's a little shape right over there. That's good. Here you go. And coming to the bottom over here. Okay. Okay. Get a little bit suggestions, a little bit shape, a little bit shape, and a little bit shadow, dividing the left side and the right side. And now coming to the bottom over here, I'm going to have something even darker. I'm going to have a little bit red, a little blue. Now it's much darker. Now you see. Just have a little bit of this two color as to make it look much deeper. And also here too. And underneath, of course, have some shadow. Okay, like that. That is simple. A little crawl like that. And here you go. I'm going to come into a little bit. Like that, showing the light, the arm right over here. I'm gonna have a little big suggestion. I'm gonna coming up like this a little bit up, and I'm gonna have this a little bit more blue. It looks like a warm blue color coming over here, soften this area. Okay, like that. This brush allows you to have a very easy blending. Okay, like that. That that's good. I'm gonna softly make it a little bit softer, like that. And I'm may or going to add a little bit darker color by having the red and the blue color together. Here you go. I'm gonna have. Here you go. Like that. If it's too dark and use the water to dilute it. Now we're coming to the final details. First, I'm going to add some color inside the eye, allow the time for it to dry. So I'm going to first have the uh, little yellow color, a little bit more yellow color. I'm going to work it into inside the eye area. In the previous step, we already know exactly where that place would be. Uh, there is a black mark in the, this is the pupil inside the eye. I can paint over the area. So don't leave the space over there. Also on the other side, there's a little bit, a uh, little bit yellow green color over here, but the inside we see that a little bit darker and looks like a warm brown color. I'm going to take this color, a little bit more yellow, and have this. That's good. This is the warm brown color. It doesn't have to be a lot of color. It's just going to look inside over here. Look into that. And we're going to leave the highlight area. So take a look. And here, have a little highlight. So I'm going to ping around that highlight. That's good. Like that. Now ping around on this side. Yeah, let's take a look. That looks good. And a little bit more. Like that. Here you go. And 
it looks like a little bit more red. So I'm gonna let go some color. Just gonna add a little bit more red color. Right in the middle over here. Just drop that red color in. Okay. Now I'm going to have a little bit softer. Let go all the wet like that. That's good. Have this color coming down a little bit. A little bit soft transition. Okay, that's good. And then come to the other side. I'm going to have a little bit darker color. Take this dark gray color. Put it right in here. Look at the distance between the two eyes. That's good. And there's no highlight on this side. That's fine, like that. Okay. That is enough variations inside the eye. I'm gonna have this a little bit slide a little bit lighter. Just use the tip of the brush, make it a little bit transition over there. That's good. Like that. And in the eye, between the two eyes, I can see that I have a little bit more orange color. So I'm going to take this color. See that? A little bit orange color. Like that. I'm going to use the water and start soften that a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna come down to take a look at the nose. I'm gonna just use a little red color. And right in the middle over here. Okay, like that. Look a little bit. That's good. And actually I can paint over here. Leave a little light area. I'm gonna paint a little bit darker color. A little bit later for the details. I come in the middle over here. Here you go. Now take a look at the location of the mouth. Before I paint that color, I'm making sure I have the surrounding a little bit deeper. I'm gonna make it a little bit color over here like that. Make it a little bit turning, right? And the form coming in over here as we talk about the structure first, detail next. So coming like that. So that's good. And we're going to have a few dotted shape right over here. Like that. Okay. And this is the surrounding color. Like that. That's good. I'm going to take a look at inside over there. I'm going to have a little bit red. Put it right in the middle over here. And I will come back to have a little bit more clear triangle after that. Okay, now I'm also going to see a little bit light uh, gray color right over here. I'm also going to put it over here. So suggesting this form and different from the other side. I'm going to have a little bit more yellow right over here like that. Also a little bit couple tap over here. That's good. Now I'm going to soften that. It looks a little bit too rough. That's good. A little bit softer. Like that. That's good. Now while this is drying, I'm going to come back to the eye. Right? So now I'm going to come back to the eye with the deeper color. So now I'm going to mix the blue color with the red color. This is very, very dark color. Here you go. Having these two colors mixed together. We don't need lots of those colors, so you don't need to mix a lot of this. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look. Which one going to come first? I'm going to come with the right side. And I'm going to take a look in the corner over here. Look at that. You have to set the stage. You have to do the preparation. Right? Otherwise, it won't look right when it's come to the time to paint it. Okay, the top over here. And 
we're gonna make this a little bit thicker on the corner over here. Now come take a look at coming up. Okay, take a look at that. It's, I think it's the right size. Okay, that's good. On the other side, it looks like a little bit more red color to it. So I'm gonna add a little red color. I'm gonna take a look at, look like at the top, there's not much dark color. So I'm gonna paint around at the lower area. I'm gonna start over here. Look around, compare to both sides. And coming here, put a little shape over there. That looks really good. Coming in a little bit over here. And then the top over here, shape it a little bit. That, the eye is almost there. So now I'm gonna have the dark color paint the pupil. And take a look at the pupils right in here. Okay, focus. There's one side. Take a look on this side. Vertical. Like that, really scary eye. Okay, I'm gonna have the eye a little bit more rounded, like that. Now I'm also gonna paint the corner of the eye. It has a little bit more red. So I'm gonna just take a little red color, just put it around the edge over here. That's good. Little corner over here, look like a little triangle. A little bit over here too. See a little red color at this corner and a little bit light brown color, warm color in that corner. So that's good. And on the top of the eye, it has a little bit orange brown color. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this color right on the top over here. That's good, like that. That, that's good. And I'm gonna have shade a little bit. So seeing that corner over there looks like a, a little bit lighter. So the eye is done. But about the eye, I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. I think it's just a little bit too hard over here. So I'm gonna, with the flat brush, I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. So you can always can come back to use the large brush to do adjusting. Okay, that's a little bit softer. Now I look much better. And now I'm gonna come into do the cat's nose. I'm gonna put a little red color in the middle over here. For now, I'm gonna add a little bit of water and like that. And then coming into inside the mouth area, it's not so bright, so I'm gonna make it a little blue color. I'm gonna come in over here. Here you go. Here you go. Just a little shape. All right, that's good. Maybe a little bit softer uh, red color. Like that. that. Now I'm going to come back to the nose. I'm going to add some deeper color. I'm going to get this, the red and the blue color. That's not really, really as dark as the eye. Like this. Good. I'm going to have this corner like this. It's a little bit over there, that's good. On this side, coming out, that's the nostril. Having some dry scratches on the top of the head, I'm gonna put a couple line like this.
Okay, don't cut into the paper too much. Just softly, persistent into the same spot. So until you remove a thin line. This is good. And I'm going to have this some line coming around over here. Do one side over here. On here, I'm going to do a little couple line. Don't forget a whisker. From here, all the way come over here. You see that? I'm making sure you, you put your hand onto the same spot. So you come back and forth to the same track. Okay, that is one over here. Pretty cute and easy.